That is not good. Hey everyone, welcome back to Coral Gardens. So I got a bit of an unexpected video today. Um, we came home to find a little surprise water leak. Uh, so I'll tell you what happened and uh, what we had to do to get that all cleaned and fixed up. So this morning I'm just in the garage doing some errands and I just noticed on the floor there's water. And so I follow the trail of water and it leads to my water changing station. And I found a a little surprise on one of my containers that I thought was good for holding water, which apparently is not. Um, I'll show you what I found here. Oh. That is not good. I guess these are just not really meant for, it's supposed to be commercial brand. I guess I can't have all the water pressure inside of them. Oh, I'm to rethink of this water station. Okay, so this is the can that I wanted. Um, I used this one for quarantine, for mixing up quarantine uh, water for the fish. Um, it's 44 gallons and it's plenty strong to hold water. This was not available when I was looking to buy the containers for my water station. So I did end up buying a different kind of garbage can. So the can on the right is what was available at the store and uh, that was as big as I had. And uh, ju I just wanted to hold more water than that. So I made a different choice and I bought a larger container. I'll show you the one I got. So after a bunch of shopping around, I saw this garbage can here and it holds 50 gallons and that was really basically what I wanted. Um, it's a commercial grade heavy duty can. I thought oh, I'd just plumb it through the bottom and it looks like it's strong enough that a, a machine could hold it, look like it would hold water. Clearly that was a bad decision uh, because it held water for a while and then it did not. I'll show you where it failed. It failed right here where this connects and it's just because the plastic for this is just not robust enough to hold water so it flexes when it's full under pressure and it flexed at this point here where this bar is and it just cracked it and yeah all the water came out so we that was a stupid mistake i should have known better not to use this <clears throat> i kind of saw it flexing when i filled it and just kind of hoped for the best but uh, clearly it didn't work out for me so i'll show you the new one that i got all right so this is the new one it's brand new uh it's 55 gallons so it's even a little bigger uh it's it's safe for drinking water so it'll be okay for the uh the salt mix inside and the plastic the th thickness of this is just in you know it's probably three four times so it makes sense i don't even think this will flex when it's full of water so i'll plumb this one in and and switch them out and uh yeah i'll show you the result Okay, I've got the top container uh, installed and plumbed in. Uh, this whole area is temporary. There's going to be an upgrade. I'm going to move everything to a different room uh, at some point when I get to it. Um, but for now, this is a temporary uh, water change station area. And I've, you know, I can access, I've just got a, uh, a pipe here so I can take water out manually if I wish. Um, and this I let fill up with RO water and then I add the salt. There's a pump inside as you can see. It mixes and then I release it here and it goes down here and it fills this container which I still need to change which we're going to do next. And you can see this one is the one that was leaking the most. Um, so anyways uh, I'm going to change this one out. And so the mixed salt water goes into here and then the auto water changer feeds from here to the tank through the wall here. Um, yeah, so I'll get going on that. It's a fair bit of work. I have to empty this. I don't want to waste this water, this salt water. It's already mixed. So I've got to have to pump this into another container, take this out, put the new container, the empty new container in and then pump the water back in. So that'll be lots of fun. I'll get on that right now.
Pump it all back. So as you can see, this is a work in progress. I got a bunch of wire management to do, yet we do not want to keep water lines mixed with electrical, so that'll all be cleaned up before I'm done here today. Um, yeah, I want to make sure all that's elevated and it's got drip lines on it and stuff, so it, nobody's going to have a problem with that. So I guess my ideal room would be, would be to have room to have a floor drain, for one would be nice in this room, a stainless steel sink. Um, a fragging station, a place to sit down and turn on a light and cut frags. Yeah, a nice spray bar sink and a place for all this equipment nice and neat. It would sure be nice. Um, it looks like that'll be a project for the new year. It's not going to just, with work and everything, I just don't have time to do that this year. And I got some stuff to get rid of to make room to do this. So. It is a project that's coming, and I will do a video on that, so uh, like and subscribe if you want to see that in the future. Okay, I got the lower one installed, and that'll be it for now. We've got some, we still got the wire management here to take care of and stuff, but uh, that will take care of this hopefully for now until we're ready to upgrade this room. Well, thanks for watching. Um, now I've got that room all cleaned up. I've... Uh, I've mopped up the floor a little bit there, and I think I got real lucky today that uh, I found that before it completely emptied out on the floor. Um, it's never a pleasant thing to have a leak when you're with anything to do with your reef, so I think we all can agree with that. So that was a lucky thing for me today, and uh, yeah, no damage done, so it wasn't all that bad. Anyways, happy reefing everybody. I hope you guys never have a water leak on your tanks. And if you want to see that future room that I'm going to be building for my RO station, um, please like and subscribe.